Good day and welcome to Cine Photo Tools. My name is Miles Johnson and today we've got something really exciting for you guys. We're going to be featuring the new Pro Photo Pro D3 Monolite. Let's check it out. So first off it comes in a nice uh, soft case which is going to keep all your equipment safe especially when you're traveling. Um, this kit here is actually a two light kit um, so you get two, you get two mono heads as well as two power cables. This light comes in two different options in terms of power. You've got a 1250 watt option uh, for those guys that just want the maximum amount of power available. And then there's also a more affordable option which is gonna come in at uh, 750 watts. It's got some really cool features like um, the flash modes. You can do eco, you can do boost, you can do freeze. And it's also got recycle times of as low as just 0.01 seconds. So now we're just going to do a quick demo of how to set up this new Pro D3 light. And as you guys will see, it's very simple, it's very intuitive, and it's got great performance. So first off, you take the, the mono light. We've got the 1250 version, uh, but it also comes in a 750 watt version, which will be a more affordable. So you take your light, put it on your light stand, Tighten it off with the wing nut and you can adjust it to various angles. So it's got a lot of, a lot of play in terms of getting that light exactly where you want it. So in terms of power, the Pro D3 runs off power supply. Um, you can also, if you're shooting on location, you can also use an EcoFlow or an Anchor portable power station will work just as well. Simply take the power supply, plug it in, and the light will come on. So now we're going to talk about some of the features that this light has. So to access the menu, it's very simple and easy. You simply click the middle button and all your settings will be displayed. This light is Bluetooth enabled, um, which means that you can use it with the Pro Photo remote. Also, this light has got three different flash modes. As you can see, we've got Eco, we've got Boost, and we've got Freeze. Eco is gonna be your default mode and it's got the most amount of color accuracy. Boost mode is gonna give you a little bit extra power during those flash durations. And freeze mode is gonna increase the shutter speed so you can really get those fast, fast action shots where there's absolutely no motion blur. So this number here, it represents the amount of power uh, out of the total 1250 or if you've gone for the 750 watt version. For example, uh, one, that'll be 10%. So we've got the 1250 watt version. One is gonna produce 125 watts during the flash duration. To increase the power, we simply turn it up. So let's make it, let's say 40%, which will be 4.0. Uh, it'll be taking 40% of the total power. So 1250 divided by four, you're gonna get roughly about 310, 315 watts per flash. Let's check it out. If we dial it up even further, we can put it up, let's say to 70%. Now you will see the flash a lot brighter. And because it's, it's based on a percentage, if we dial it all the way up, it'll go up to 10. So 10 represents 100% of the light power. So now when we flash, we'll get the full 1250 watts per flash. Let's check it out. 